This is Camp Kennedy. Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, what is it? Sunday. Some of you guys might have known I got married on Thursday, which was the 25th of October, 2018. That's my uh, anniversary. You guys can help me remember that because I'm terrible. But I've got exciting news. I told you that we were going to do a bonus video and we'd have some visiting celebrities from the world of aquaculture and uh, YouTube. And I've got them. And there he is. Greg the Pond Guy's in town, everybody. Having, and having fun with the turtles. Uh, Greg loves turtles. And Paul Cafaro, fresh yes. back from his trip to Rhoda. Rhoda? 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 Rhoda. Rhoda. Rhoda, baby. CMI. Crazy trip. Yeah, man. Long Crazy trip. trip. Long trip. Two weeks. Wow. Well, well, if Greg the Pond guy's in town, that can only mean one thing. <laughs> that we are going to have some fun and he's going to help me figure out the best things to do for my animals. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's cruising back in. Dude. They love turtles. Look. Doop -de -doop -de -doo. <laughs> so it's really great to pick the brain of... Um, our buddy Greg, as you know, he created the Aquascape uh, company. Uh, he came out here last year, earlier this year, actually. And isn't, he that, put, isn't that amazing? It's do you want to go see the pond real quick? I so want to see it. All right, let's go see it. We're Not gonna, that I don't see it every week on your show, but well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just go take a look at the pond, and I want to bring you guys on a little journey because I'm doing a few things. Uh, some of you who watch my live shows know that I asked you for help and advice as to what new modifications I should do for my tortoise enclosures. That's what today's video is going to be about. We're going to figure out some cool things to do for those videos. But first, I want to see uh, Greg's creation here. I Show love, everyone. See, this is welcome Look at to the Florida. Oscars, dude. Yeah, the Oscars got big. Dude, they're huge. Isn't that amazing? They had a lot of food to eat. God, this is so gorgeous. Dude, they did exactly what they needed to do. They certainly did, man. So there are my three albino Oscars, the three amigos. Uh, I used to have way too many guppies in here. Greg, he comes up to me. Oh, he's, yeah? like, he's like, I had so many minnows. I'm like, you guys just the thing. You put three Oscars gone. Yep. Right. So, you know, here's a scoop, man. Like, the water all summer was crystal clear, and I think I know it's a little, it's got a little bit of a fog, and I think, and you can tell me if this is right, uh, up here in the waterfall area, yeah. I had a lot of um, water plants were growing. Yep. And I kind of removed them because they were getting way too, um, you know, way too overabundant. Did you have water hyacinths or water lettuce? Well, it's, I don't even know the type of plant. It was some kind of weed that I got out of a ditch and it covered this whole area. Yes. And the water was really clear. Um, obviously, and the other problem is I put elongated tortoises in here a few months ago. That they're, they're eating these water plants as oh, yeah. well. So I think I need to, you know, I mean, it's not bad. It's not like it's a horrible, uh, why don't, on, it's why, just, don't, why don't we use this area right here and go and get a beautiful tropical water lily and stick it right in there? You think? Oh, I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah? you got plenty of viewing area over there. A beautiful water lily going right here would look spectacular. All right, man. So, you know, the great thing about that is I can go to a ditch yes. and just dig it up. Okay? They're just growing on the side of the road. Um, so, my concern, well, I think that that should be fine. I do have some turtles in here that may eat it. Yeah, but, but you know if they eat it then well first of all let's get a big one in here okay and the, and and like you can just get them it's just keep keep it going keep it going because that's part of the filter and then of course you can get some more um, marginals yes all right awesome man some floating plants so you know they're illegal to to transport in in the state if you get water highest or water lettuce but if you pull it out of a ditch and put it here gotcha you know, i don't know maybe not you probably shouldn't do that but, yeah okay <laughs> yeah i like to see great yeah, you're not allowed to do that. But hey, how about this, everybody? Look at how nicely these these uh, ornamental plants have grown. And we even got bananas I growing back there. Look at these things. Yeah. Oh, these are alligator flags. They're like 70 feet high. It's fantastic. This it's is welcome amazing. to Florida. Yep. Yeah. So, and, and you know, this is an ecosystem. You have a heavy bio load in here. I do. So the plants will help remove the nutrients. And then you also, I see that you have your automatic doser in here. I do. You can also top that up a little bit. So uh, right now it said... You know what? I haven't checked that. Let's check that real Dude, quick. I'll bet you that it's... I did the same thing. It came over. I'm like, why is my water like kind of... Uh, okay, so the problem I'm having, you're having the fog, right? Right. I have this... A layer about this big in my big pond of black algae. It's literally black and it's foamy. Yeah, it's out. It's out. All right, hold on. So here's the great thing. Because I'm buddies with Greg, a little while ago, he sent me a bunch of these uh, packets. So what I do is I'll walk right in here. Da -da -da -da. Oh, look at that. Let's go ahead and change the maintain in the pond. 
and I have the actual expert with me. So, hey, look what I have. Oh, it's in there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Look what I got. Maybe there's one on here, though. What there's did still this? some in here. So, Greg, there it is. But yeah. let's oh, what, what the that? straws in there? So it was yes. set. Oh, we can get it out. It was set at 1500. Okay. And if if the if the plants change because you pulled them out of there, then I would just crank it up to 3000. Oh, okay. For a week or two. I knew there was a simple solution here. Are you getting it? I don't feel it. There's you don't feel it? It's got to be in there. Oops, sorry. Oh, I mean, I'm spruging. Yeah, so the straw broke off. Okay. So. Is there a straw in this? I don't know if the straw Because it will pull from the bottom. Ah. Anyway, We're... this is so, so if, if part of the ecosystem changes, we'll mess with this in a minute, if part of the ecosystem changes, then you could just adapt it. That's why we have this. All right, cool. So yeah. we'll, we'll yeah, get but, to but that. Let's add some more plants. Let's up the dosing system and then it will be, and it's already clear. It'll be crystal clear again in a week. Perfect, man. So I love it. Look at all these awesome Holy fish. Holy. Look at all these beautiful cichlids down here. And we got our pink belly side neck turtles. But now let's go around back. We'll get to this later yep. and, and I'll handle that later. But let's go around back and uh, talk about the new uh, modifications we're going to be doing to my tortoise enclosures. Now, here's what you guys have to understand with tortoises. A lot of people think, oh, when you keep an outdoor enclosure for a tortoise, I could just put like a little water dish. And you can, but you always have to have water cycling through because you never want stagnant water. A lot of health issues arise from stagnant water. Also, rodents may run around and urinate in the water and they can make your tortoises sick. So look, here are the uh, leopard tortoises and I wanna show you what I've been doing, guys. I have been, you know, a lot of people uh, misheard me. When I said I was downsizing, I wasn't downsizing necessarily my property or anything. I'm, I'm actually getting, not getting rid of, but downsizing some of the animals that will be here. Because as you know, we're going to uh, open a new place with Kyle and myself. And uh, so I'm spreading things out and I'm also making enclosures bigger. So what I did was I came over here where all the, um, the, the B team of sulcatas were. I no longer have that group of sulcatas. I cleared out all of this. Look at all this guys, totally been cleared out. And now it's home to my radiated tortoises. The nine radiated tortoises have all of this area to enjoy. And uh, you can see there, I've been working on their shed. We've got the area all the way up there. They have all this grass. They won't be able to eat all this grass down. Remember when uh, you guys saw that their old enclosure was bare of grass? Well, I don't like that. So by extending their environment, and keeping their numbers the same, I've now created a better ecosystem for the tortoises to not denude all the foliage. I then extended the regular leopard tortoises enclosure. They're now able to go all the way through where the uh, radiateds used to live and the snow leopards used to live. And now they have all of this. Look at this guys. I'm going to remove this here and they've got all this area. So grass is gonna grow back in this area, okay? We're gonna replant, we're gonna get grass back, and uh, it'll be just amazing. So that's what's going on. And now Greg's here because I've got ideas, you guys had ideas, and this is what we're doing. Uh, Greg, check it out, man. All right, come just here it comes Greg. Yeah, he's just having fun, man. <laughs> so I wanna do, since this is the leopard tortoise enclosure here, mm -hmm. um, I think we need a stream. I think we need a stream because what I'm thinking is, you know, you make so many different uh, products and I believe they have more than just the aesthetic application, more than just the beauty we're going to create here by having a babbling waterfall and a brook and a shallow little, yep. um, a shallow little depression for the tortoises to drink out of. Yep. But because you have biofalls, because you create ecosystems, we're now going to have running clear water, uh, clean water. And so the tortoises will be more and more healthy. Uh, that's what I want to do. I'm trying to up the game here. I'm trying to yeah. turn Camp Cannon into uh, paradise for these animals and for the human beings that appreciate it. Yep. So I want to put a stream in this area, but I also want to do a rec pond. And I, <laughs> I got a lot of ideas, man, but you're the guy to talk to. So 
Well, let's discuss. Yeah. So basically, anywhere in here, you could put a. Put, you know, since the primary the primary goal is functionality. Yep. Which is clean, clear water that you don't have to be constantly draining and, and doing. I mean, literally, once it's going and you had the dozer system on there, you just top it off. Awesome. You know, we could we could hook it up to we could hook it up to a, even a fill valve, but uh, we have a we have a, a micro micro pondless waterfall kit. And what you were saying is that you would like maybe a deeper part of the stream where the like like six inches a foot like how deep yeah about six inches oh, that's it that's just enough for the tortoises to get in dunk their heads under soak a little bit right um so we've got this area now this is also the area that i thought i'd like to do a rec pond oh, because oh, are you serious yeah i i thought because oh well dude i'm higher up here number one in florida we have a high water table if we were down there yeah the water would intrude and push against our um so you would liner. take out some of this patio. i would take out some of this patio add fill here so that the pond would come out in this area this whole area would be a pond and then maybe there'd be a little stream that just recirculated i don't know how that works you'd have to have a bog somewhere about about 10 percent of the service area should be a wetland filtration system okay but you could actually incorporate the wetland in the um in the recreation pond because it's big enough okay so you do an upflow uh biological filter inside of the actual water feature itself with the red cool. pond wow yeah so 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 hold on a second. So if that happens a year from now or whatever, well, I guess we could move the stream, but why wouldn't we just put the stream back there then? Well, we, what I was thinking, why don't we put the stream over here? Because we still have, we can make the stream look as though it's tied into our rec pond, can't we? So what if the stream were in this area because we have pitch, okay? We have some pitch here. It'll go down. It'll have access. The turtles will wander back and forth here. The tortoises back and forth here. But this would be a good midpoint. And then when you're walking around, you'd see the stream, you see the tortoises. Does that make sense to you in this area? Yeah, so 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 let's say it would be kind of cool to um, have something that you, you maybe you saw when you came into the into the yard. Yep. So because you drive in out all the time. Yeah. So actually have the waterfall facing the drive. Okay. So every time you would come in, you would see it boom coming coming down in here. And then you can just turn it and put it into a little you know, just a little ten foot area, but in inside of it maybe a three foot six inch deep area where the tortoises can get in and take a little bath and, and then get out but i like the idea of the waterfall okay you know maybe you know knee high in here facing towards the thing because it'll be the first thing you see every time you drive in and it would just really be a nice addition. would that would that oh so we just build this area up and then yeah, gravity yeah, does the rest so that we do because 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 the pondless waterfall the majority of the stuff is underneath the ground because we have to create the void space, okay. we have to create the hole and then put the aqua blocks in to create the void space. Okay. So all of that excavated sand, you just build up. What you don't wanna do, and this is the number one problem that we see with people, is they, they oh, we want a five foot high waterfall in yeah. a flat backyard. No, it looks like a volcano spewing lava versus a natural waterfall. Right. So, you know, a, 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 a low 18 one. to 20 inch waterfall right here coming down, and with the lights on it at nighttime, it would be the first thing you see every single time you, you come into your house. Cool. I like it, man. That's amazing. And then, of course, these guys would be able to utilize it, and they'd be drinking from it. And as they travel from here all the way back and forth along this whole route, they will then come to learn that the water source is here. Uh, and though it could, uh, I, even it can go against, well, it wouldn't go against the pitch here. You'd have to just I would, build I would this high. I would do it down on the side because I would just build up. Okay. So this is, this is a flat enough area here but i i like the idea of twisting the waterfall and stream so that it disappears kind of behind it cool so it'll look like it's going into going this. into there so from there the main viewing area from when you pull in and out of your house it'll look like it's going down into that awesome and man. then we probably just finish up finish it off with a dry stream so that it literally looks, looks like it's just going into it. oh that's really cool it looks yeah. like it goes into here yeah. and that's what i'm trying to do guys i'm trying to get rid of all these old fences and things like that and create new ways to present the animals and keep them contained and create the illusion that there are no fences here in the backyard. And you know what, and, and the one thing that I noticed, because I was standing next to this pond, of course, admiring all, but but you don't have that sound of running water. Right. So in the front, it's so beautiful up there, but back here, you don't hear that. And you know, that's the other funny thing, guys. Kate and I, all we do is hang out out front now. It's the funniest thing, and, I, and that's part of the reason I want to do something in the backyard, because yes. we want to we want to be uh, able to enjoy the back as well. Now, I'm always walking around enjoying the animals, but as far as a hangout spot 
we hang by the pond. We I know, know it's it raw. A water feature is the only thing that will draw people outside like a vacuum yeah. cleaner and deposit them in their yard for hours in because you'll sit there. I and mean, I, I'm yeah. already wanting to go back up there already and sit there looking at the fish and the turtles. It's, so it's cool. nature. Well, that's what we're going to do. And we got to balance. The feng shui of the yard needs some balance, dude. We need some water back here. So um, that's what we're planning on doing. We need doing. some sound. So exactly sound. exactly all right cool so what do you guys think comment below if you're excited as i am uh we'll of course just be showing you the build maybe we'll go to some of their other builds and show you what they're doing there uh you guys know i love ponds we love turtles and reptiles so Amen. i'm showing you that's why we get along i know it dude there he is the pond guy go follow him on on uh good old youtube right there and you guys will be able to learn how to do this and see all the different uh water features because part of the reason i love doing this channel is when i was a young lad um my favorite thing to do was to go see other reptile keepers how they kept their animals get different ideas and that's what I'm doing now on YouTube I'm trying to give you guys different ideas how to care for these animals and along the way on this journey that we're doing we've we've met people that are experts in their field like Greg so I'm really excited that he was around Paul's just wandering around enjoying the backyard Paul says one day he's gonna he's gonna buy this house uh, lots of sand, dude. That's what we also have to do. That's why I got to grow the grass back. Lots of sand. Kate doesn't like sweeping. Neither why do I. Why are you doing stuff to this yard when I'm going to buy it in like a year? Hey, man. Come on, dude. No, See this kidding. guy? He's crazy, man. I'm, I'm doing all stuff to this yard, so the resale value for you oh, is God, exceptionally God. high. Uh, anyway, guys. All right. Thank you so much. Like and comment below. Uh, tell me what you guys think of our ideas. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you have any better ideas? Let me know. Uh, I think the tortoises are going to be happy. I'm going to now discuss this recreation pond here with Greg. And uh, boy, we'll be doing some fun swimming with because we'll have Kyle's pond and pool. And then we'll have a mini one here where I can do some turtle swimming with right in my own backyard. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Don't forget to go to patreon.com slash camp and help us support all this fun stuff. And let's make life good for these critters.